I get this question on a regular basis, and it's easy to see why, because there is no real distinction between female and male black-capped chickadees when it comes to their appearance. In fact, people have doubted me, and I don't blame them. It's good to be skeptical on things. Unlike birds, such as cardinals, where the male is much brighter color than females, chickadees don't have this obvious difference. So why am I so confident that I know that Tiny, a chickadee I've known for almost five years, is indeed a female? Or that Tim here, Tiny's mate for the last four years at the least, is indeed a male? There are a few ways that help me tell them apart, and here they are. I watch their behavior. Females aren't as aggressive as males. Now that isn't to say that they are innocent. Females do fight, especially when another female intrudes on another's territory. Also, the female and male defend a territory together. Generally speaking, though, the females are more timid. And the male of a mated pair normally dominates the female. This may be a hard one for most people to notice, as it does require getting familiar with a couple, regularly observing them. So this one may not be as useful, but I figured it was worth mentioning. There is one call that is for sure only sung by males, and that is the Fabi song, also known as Hey Sweetie song. If you see a chickadee singing it, you know for sure it is a male. That is how I knew Tim was definitely a male when I met him four springs ago. I want to mention one more thing. This isn't really a call though, but definitely worth mentioning. As a female gets close to laying her eggs, she takes on a raspy sounding voice, just like you are hearing here with Tiny, recorded last spring. All female black cap chickadees get like this. It's very similar to the way baby chickadees sound though, but adult females take on this raspy voice leading up to egg laying, and they don't make it anymore after they start laying. If it is early in the breeding season, no fledgling chickadees yet, usually between April and early May, then you know you have yourself a female black cap chickadee. I've also noticed that female boreal chickadees are like this too. During the breeding season, male chickadees give food offerings to their female. In this case, a nice grub. And no, this is definitely not a baby chickadee being fed. I know that because of two reasons. One, I knew the pair, in fact they were Tiny's parents, Alpha and Marxine, back in 2012. And two, it was recorded in April 2012. Up here, there is still snow on the ground in April and most of the songbirds are just beginning to build nests. So there were definitely no baby chickadees at this point. The female calls in her raspy voice constantly, encouraging her mate to bring her food. This is a good way for her to tell how well of a provider he can be for the chicks. For the untrained eye, this may be pretty tricky. In my case, I've gotten to know the birds so well over the years that within just a few minutes of observing them, I can, for the most part, tell who is male and who is female fairly easily. Females are slightly smaller than the males. The big chickadees are almost always male, and the smaller chickadees are almost always females. It takes to observe them up close though to see these minor differences, but once you see it, it does stand out. At least that's how it's been for me. Only the female incubates. So once the eggs have been laid, the female spends almost all of her time in the nest while the male makes his rounds in the territory, keeping intruders out and bringing food to her at the nest. Each spring, Tiny goes missing, which tells me that she is busy incubating eggs and therefore a female. The reason it's like this is because only the females develop a brood patch. The males don't. So the males can't incubate the eggs, only the female can. Those are a few of the main reasons why I know who is female and who is male. I've gotten so familiar with these birds over the years that when I meet a new pair, I can figure out very quickly who is who with just their size and behavior alone. I hope you enjoyed the video and maybe even learned something new to help you know your chickadees a little better. If you want more videos on chickadees, here is one about the black cap chickadees for bee sign. And here is one on five cool things chickadees can do. Thanks for watching and happy birding!